you have a prepaid call from Andre Dow. An inmate at Nevada Department of Corrections, Northern Nevada Correctional Center. Hear the charges for this call. Press 2. What up, though? This is your boy, D.O.C., and of course, it's Mac Minister Monday is May 6th. And I got a question for you. I want to know, how do you feel about the hip-hop game right now? It's a lot of femininity going on in the hip-hop game. We got a lot of people wearing dresses. We got a lot of, you know, the colorful hair. A lot of stuff, even down to a lot of the slang that's been coming out. People, instead of calling them clips or extendos, people call them dicks, different things of that nature. I want to get your opinion on, you know... Um, the state of hip-hop right now. Because in a lot of cases, I personally feel like the hip-hop game personally keeps the game a young man game on purpose. They don't really want to sign older people that may be gamed up, have a lot of wisdom, or have a lot of experiences because they can't use them. But they choose to pick the young guys because if you get a young guy from a poverty situation that's thinking about just putting the food on his table tonight, he's more hyped to probably sign that contract not knowing that it may be just a loan, a 360 deal, or it's going to mess up his life. But I want to get your opinion on both of them type of man, topics. Let, hey, man, and you know what? Let me tell you something, man. The most disrespectful, listen, I, mean, I hear these niggas around here, these youngsters, man, they call each other a bitch. Like, that's cool. When you call a motherfucker a bitch, he really a bitch, nigga. That's highly disrespectful. That's fighting right there. That's a fight. I'll bitch a nigga in the minute. You bitch me back. I'm going to impregnate your lip and administrate your nose. You better not call me no motherfucking bitch. All right, hey. Fuck all that. You know, niggas running around with these... You know, howdy. Nigga looking like howdy duty with these clothes on, man. You know what I mean? Peter Pan. I'm looking like, what the fuck going on out there in the world, man? Nigga, I'd rather wear a suit. Then it seemed it did, then the, you know what I mean, to fall up under that trend. Man, I don't follow trends, I set them. You know what I mean? I set patterns and paths for motherfuckers to follow. I wish I would jump in the lane of some sucker shit, man. That shit is terrible. You know? But again, you got suckers in charge. The real niggas is gone. So a lot of these niggas say they real niggas, you make a real nigga seem like a bad thing now. Because these suckers are saying that. Nigga, you don't mean that. You don't even know what that is. This shit here is some real shit. This right here that I'm going through, man, this a cold, real road ride right here. Yeah. Because people die in prison. People get raped in prison. Some shit happened to you, man. People take your shit. So, you know, you'll hear motherfuckers say, oh, and I know you guys. See, one thing about it. I can know without anybody telling this certain people that's gonna go all oh, the nigga in there saying this and he saying that, but he motherfucker, bitch, I'm in the, I'm on an animal form. It's certain, it, 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 you know, to be to always be um, conscious of, you know, uh, oh should I say to be to be civilized is uncivilized around this motherfucker. Sometimes you got to deal with people a certain way. They don't understand it no other way. You have to read a motherfucker to ride at. And them young motherfuckers out there, they not really capturing this. You know, you got this new shit going on, and that new shit is like, man, it's a brand new shit, too. I'm talking brand new like paper in the shoe. Some shit I ain't never seen before. Motherfuckers is under the... the you know, and then, and then, you know, the cold part is, it's niggas that's out there older doing, following that shit. It's supporting it. Yeah. Ain't nobody going, hell no, nah, nigga don't do that. See, I came up in that generation. I was one of them niggas too. Nah, nigga don't do that. I'm quick to tell a motherfucker that. Yeah. Especially if it ain't good. Because I don't want to say, man, I, I know what you don't know. I've been where you have not gone. And I'm telling you, don't do that. And what about the part about, you know, the game purposely signing younger people? When I say older, I'm not necessarily talking about 30, 40, 50, and nothing like that. People may be in their late 20s in this particular generation feel like that's too old. But I feel like they purposely keep it a young man's game on purpose because of what I was saying earlier. What's your thoughts on that? You think that's true? But absolutely. But see, the niggas that 
that got the money. A lot of them niggas out of pocket too because they sit up there. It's like me, hip hop wasn't born. That, that's not where hip hop came from. You did what I'm saying. Also, you know, hip hop was built, built on masculinity. Motherfuckers ain't wearing no dresses and condoning no homosexual shit, man. That shit ain't that, that shit ain't where it's at, man. No black man should be gay, man. That's just something that he should not be. That, that, hell no, nah, nigga. It ain't no excuse for it. I don't give a fuck how, how nigga. It, it ain't a motherfucker around here. A lot of these niggas that fuck with these boys around here, man, they, they been on that. You did not come to jail and all of a sudden, just because you ain't had sex, all of a sudden, you finna go fuck on a man. Nah, nigga, that been in you. You've been on that. You stick your dick in the man, but you might as well stick your dick in the garbage can, nigga. That's how I look at it. So the point is, that ain't what the game was based on. Nigga, God frowned upon that so bad. See, this is why I'm blessed, because there's a lot of shit that I'm going through, and I'm really taking it like a man, folks. It don't matter who, man, what thing about, I don't give a fuck who, ain't, who around and who ain't around. I'm going to always have a level of integrity. Period. It don't matter who. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if they got me in the hole and I'm by myself and the CEO come at me a certain way, nigga, I'm going to check the fuck out of them, nigga. I'm going, it don't matter if you put a motherfucker in the cell with me, nigga, I'm cool until he ain't cool. Period. You had mentioned Monique in one of our discussions, and that's something I want you to kind of expound on, you know what I mean? Like, when she sat down with Steve Harvey, she was talking about integrity, and he tried to, quote-unquote, check her and say, you know, that money is more important because talking about the money that he accumulated going to help his family, the generations after that, you know what I mean? And that kind of raised a large outroar, you know what I'm saying? Basically saying put money in front of integrity. Like, what's your thoughts on that? But see, they're going to show you he a sellout in the sucker, man, for him to say that. He said that. And he feels like that's okay. And you know what? Ain't nobody else going to say that to him because more than likely who he around, he got more money than them. Or they on the same shit he on. It's a lot of these niggas that feel like that. That's what, check this out, my nigga. Here's, 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 here's how the game go. You know, I come from the game, and we all come from the streets to an extent. All street politics is the same. You dig what I'm saying? But nowadays, you look at it. When I left, we were talking about uh, stop snitching. Now, motherfuckers are talking about if you see something, say something. What type of punk ass shit is that? Mm. It's certain shit. The dynamics of this shit has changed. So it's a lot of niggas in the industry, you know what I mean? And it was a, it, man, it was this bitch used to say this to me, man. I used to get into big arguments with this bitch on the phone, right? This bitch, Hail Mary, man. This bitch write me one time, just out of nowhere. I never met her uh, personally or none of that. But we've corresponded, we talked on the phone. The bitch used to always say shit like, man, these certain motherfuckers that you think they cool, they not. Man, I didn't fall with this bitch. And you know what? That bitch is right. I swear for God, I got the consent to that. The bitch is right, and the more and more days go by, I look at this shit, and I go, these niggas in snake face and imitates. I don't give a fuck how much money they got. A lot of these niggas done impugn the integrity of the game. They do not respect this shit. These niggas is on TV. Nigga, they done sold they soul in a booty hole for a motherfucking jelly roll. They done sold all the way out, and that's what that nigga did. That's what he told her. The black woman has always been stronger than the black man. That's why she is so feisty and so upset. Her anger and her frustration come from you. Nigga, nigga you sat around. You let this white boy rape her. You let him beat her. You let him take the kids. For years, you niggas ain't did shit. You niggas still don't do shit. But you'll do something to another nigga in a minute. That's why the black woman is so angry. So how you think, in Monique heart of heart, she can't stand Steve Harvey no more. She can't stand that nigga. Nigga, you gonna sit here and say that? You in position to say something. It's just like, man, my girl, I love her, man. I, man, I'll marry the bitch, man. If I, if I'm telling you, if I get her, I'm gonna get her a million dollars. A million. Yeah. Nail Hill, man, from ESPN. See, it be black women that's going to say something. 
Stephen A goes so far and that nigga gonna stop. He gonna do the same act. I hear that nigga on TV saying some shit. The Bron, you know, the Bron is a real one, man. The Bron gonna say something. And you know what's so cold? This is the cold part. You got white folk that will say something for black people before a lot of these niggas will say anything. They will. And, and one thing about it, let me keep doing this interview. It's going to be somebody white with some money that's going to fuck around and say, if, if I don't get out in the times that I'm supposed to get out like I feel I'm getting out, but I think it's coming anyway. Because like I said, I had a conversation with my time. See, it be white folks that jump in. Right. Yeah. They better than a lot of these niggas. No white, but no real white motherfucker would, would just tell Monique no shit like that. But this nigga is in the game and he say that. Nigga, you come from the projects. You always talk about, you know, your humble beginnings. And then you get to the top and you tell Monique to throw everything she stand for out the window just to get a check. Just to sit at the table with Oprah and Tyler Perry and all. Man, nigga, fuck all that. How motherfucker don't love Monique? Monique is that sister, that first cousin, that mama, that auntie, that real shit that we come up under. You got niggas in the rap game, they supposed to fuck with Monique. Nigga, that's an Academy Award winning Monique. What the fuck is going on with you? Funny as a motherfucker, and her humor come out of realness. How in the fuck you don't love Monique? Nigga, you supposed to stay. I'm going to tell you something. Another move a nigga did that I didn't like. If I got close to that nigga, I slapped the fuck out of him. With Chris motherfucking, uh, what's that, what's that nigga name? Not Chris Tucker, the other motherfucker. Who are you talking about, Chris Rock? Chris Rock, bitch ass. Jada Picky say something. I love me some Jada, man. I love Jada. I swear for God I love Jada. Jada make Will Smith all right. And we know, and, 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 and he's compromised. But she's so real that we can, I get that nigga pass on a lot of levels. Because she loved Tupac, and you gotta be a real motherfucker to love the Pac. But Jada one day say something about she gonna protest against the Academy Awards. What they do? They get this old boot licking ass, chickaboo dancing ass, bitch ass nigga Chris Rock the job, and he try to make a skit about Jada. Now, nigga, Will Smith, nigga, you chipped up. You, Will Smith, chipped up like bad teeth, nigga. You supposed to catch that nigga behind wherever you catch him at and beat his motherfucking ass. So you know since we've been kicking it, you know I'm not in the industry or none of that. And a lot of days that go by dealing with different industry people or different artists, it makes me so anti-industry because they purposely doing things. It's people right now that be yelling, black this, black that, that behind the scenes, they doing things to not only hold me back, hold other people back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be crazy to the point where... You know, I understand what you're saying about Jada and all this. See, that's the problem. Niggas that took fighting out the game. You gotta shoot nobody. Beat that nigga's ass. Beat his motherfucking ass. Bitch ass nigga, shut your motherfucking mouth up. You don't sit here and disrespect my wife. You don't sit here and say that. Niggas in the game should have said something to him. Nigga, man, you said funny, nigga. She talking about standing up for something. One thing I'll be peeping... You know, for people that want to break worldwide, that's why I'm glad that it's social media. You know what I'm saying? It's direct to consumer, so you can try to build your own platform, but you got to be very, I'm not going to say, because I don't want to discourage anybody, but I look at it like you got to put the medicine in candy. It got to be an entertainment form, but you got to also drop gems, you know, here and there in it. If you the type of person, and not saying that it can't be done, but look at what just happened to Farrakhan and all them type of situations, and it's been going on. Even on across YouTube, they're doing things to suppress certain stuff. So you got to do it from a certain type of way to wrap the medicine in the candy and give it to people because they purposely going to step on the toes of the real ones to keep the real ones out the game so the fake ones can keep being a representation. And of course, people are followers, they're going to do everything they can to follow those people because they see them in the game with the money. That make, a, that make another uh, sister don't want to say nothing because this bitch ass nigga got something to say. Nigga, you trying to make a fun. And then you're great at what you do. You're especially good at making white people laugh, but you're going to attack her? See, that was the Steve. That's the same. See, all the niggas is up into that Steve Harvey act. That's just like when they came out that elevator with Donald Trump. You see, if you, if a nigga Google that, you can look on that. I'll never forget that look on that nigga face. 
he did not like that them cameras was on him like that because you did some sneaky ass punk shit, nigga. You went up there and I don't know if he spit or swallowed, but you sucked Donald Trump dick that day. You went up there and did some punk ass shit. And then you got the nerve to say some shit like, uh, uh, whatever, whatever my business was with him, that's between me and him. Nigga, no, it ain't. You got an entire people that this motherfucker done said some fucked up shit about. You got an entire people that he hate. So anybody that try to speak up for him or try to make him uh, fit, look, look like he's human, nigga, he not. They speak up for this motherfucker and you black and he throw a Nazi sign, nigga, you out of pocket. You out of, you, you wrong. You got white folk that speak up against this motherfucker and nigga, you don't. I ain't never heard Steve Harvey say a motherfucking thing about Donald Trump and his conduct. Nope. And you see white people all the time saying something about we can do, we, 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 uh, we juke this motherfucker. We don't, we don't respect none of that. He is taking the country backwards. Come on, man. And nigga, you ain't said one motherfucking word. Then you tell Monique to put all integrity and all womanhood to the side to, to get a check. What type of bitch? And, and you know what they do? The moment they get tired of Steve Harvey ass, or he do something to the right white motherfucker, they gonna put a sex charge on you, nigga. They gonna say you raped the bitch. They gonna say that the young female that you compromised her, that you done something to your staff. See, he's so caught up in it. Now they can play the game with him. Now I had a bitch ass nigga on TV trying to defend that. I ain't never did nothing. They'll do it to you, nigga, because that's the game. That's the that's the that's the nature of it right now. That's the shit that they doing. Now, now the nigga really got to get him one. Or listen, man, when I get out, it's gonna probably be three bitches that I fuck with, and they gonna know that I fuck with them. I'm not going outside that, my nigga. Don't let your freakness be your weakness, because that's a setup. 